Well, thanks for talking to us, Dave. Of course, uh, we had a little word with Kenny earlier in the week as you continued that uh, your pro license course. It's some 11 days ago, I think, roughly since you last played that last competitive game against Wigan, of course. And uh, it's now key that you can hopefully keep building on what's what's been happening over the last few weeks. Yeah, I, I've said it a couple of times. Um, I think we, have we picked up one point in the first five games or something up to deadline day. And now we've lost one in eight. Well, without even, you know, analysing any performances, if, you, if you've only picked up one point in your first five game or, or something like that, and then you've only lost one in the next eight after that, that does show progress. Is it as fast as we want? Well, it's never as fast as you want, is it? Is it as um, as uh, consistent as you want? Well, no, it isn't. You only have to look at the Cambridge game for that. So, um, you know, we've got we've got plenty of work to do, lots of work to do, but we we are swimming in the right direction, and everyone's um, helping each other out. You know, and and that's that's what it's about. So, I think we're getting better by the week, stronger. We're getting players back fit. We, we're treating them properly. Um, we, we're trying to help them in their football development. So when you factor all them things in, I think all the ingredients are there, other than maybe time. But then we are now into October. So we've had a bit of time and, and the results are starting to come and the performances are starting to, to, be, to become slightly more consistent. And... And that's ultimately that's what you need as a manager. You need a bit of time when 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 we have a promotion summer. Because so that's what we had. We had a promotion summer. We sold all our best players, um, and that's what makes this club sustainable. So, um, you know, it's um, yeah. We're, we're looking we're looking forward to the the games this month. There's going to be some. Well, they're, they're all tough. Um, and we've got to make sure we keep keep developing and keep progressing. And, and I'm sure that more points and more wins will, will keep coming our way. And, and you're exactly right. It's, it was key. It did come together after what you've already said about the, the slow start. Because you've had a couple of international breaks now, but it's a sequence now right to the end of the year where you're going to be playing week in, week out. It is a crucial period of fixtures coming up, no doubt about that, because you want to be you know, gradually getting towards that mid-table position. Yeah, of course. You know, we want to finish as high as we can. You know, I, I could say, are we in a false position? No, we're not. We are where we are. The league table doesn't lie and all that stuff. You know, there's there's circumstances and factors that are, um, you know, that lead you to that that table. But we've got to make sure that we don't either rest on our laurels, feel sorry for ourselves, um, think we've cracked it or whatever. I don't know, thoughts coming to our heads um, that um, doesn't gain optimal performance. And that's what it's about. Um, and we've got to make sure that we're, we're back on it on Saturday at Fleetwood and, and the, the, the games following that as well. Just turning the clock back to that last competitive game, you made eight changes that night against Wigan. But by the time you've analysed it and gone over it and even saw it on first hand, you got a performance, didn't you? As well as a result. And there's plenty of food for thought there for that good competition for places that you do want. Yeah, I think I think we've got a, a good squad. We've probably got the most competitive squad since I've been manager. But I think we're all at a level that um, we're not quite at last year. But we've got to get them to that level. And when we do get into that level, which I'm sure we will, we're going to have a super squad. <laughs> now we've got to do it as quick as we can before, I don't know, loan players go back or whatever that might be at the end of the season or contracts run out. We've got to, we've got to um, you know, sort of um, have the harvest and uh, you know, have the good times, if you like, as, as for as long as possible. Um, so look, we we're working hard. That's what we do. Um, and we're developing the players. And that's, again, that's what we do. That's our DNA. That's our, that's my coaching philosophy. That's the football club's coaching philosophy. And and we'll keep improving. I'm sure we will. That one area that you've been sort of short of due to injuries and illness has been your striking options. But fingers crossed, 
that's clearing up and, you know, you're getting players back and Chris Long is one of those. Just a word on how frustrating it's been for him. I think, it, well, I think he's more frustrated than anyone. You know, he's said to me regularly, I've never been injured for this long in his whole career. And he's 26, 27. So um, he's found it extremely difficult and extremely frustrating. You know, as a manager, there's always someone injured. So it's just, it is what it is. But for him, he's found it really tough to to get his head around the fact that he, he is getting old <laughs> and, and he will pick up little niggles. Um, but look, he's, he's, he's been fine for well over a week now. And that's obviously after the, the condition from the sports scientists from Tom and, and, and Steve. So we're, we're looking forward to hopefully seeing him play. What does he bring, Dave? What, what difference does he bring to the striking options? I think anyone who saw him in pre-season, um, his, his action, you know, his all action, um, he's got some real good skill. He's a finisher, um, you know, and, and, and he's prepared to work his socks off, which is which is a given, but not all players do it. Um, you know, and, and he's, a, he's a scouser. It means the tough. I, 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 to this day, I haven't met a soft scouser. The tough people. And, and that's what you need to be a, a professional sportsman or a professional sports person. So, um, you know, he's got all the attributes, he's got all the qualities. You know, you don't get bought for a million pounds if, if you're rubbish. Although that doesn't always mean that you're still worth a million pounds, but it, it's, it shows he's got pedigree. Um, and he, he's, he's chomping at the bit. Well, talking of finishing, Oli finished, come back and. Uh doing what you know he can do, and he needed to do it as well. He needed to, to get back. I know it's been a long time, and the injury set him back at, at Shrewsbury, but uh, he's back with goals, and he, he, he's, a, he's a good player to have there, there in that squad. Yeah, of course. I'm sure any team that's watched us the last couple of games will say, oh, yeah, he scores goals, and, and that's important. It's important, it's important that he scores goals because that's a, a large part of his game. Um, he is a good player. Um, it has took him a while to get going this year, which is half understandable and, and, and you, because of the injury, because of the upheaval to a lot of his friends <laughs> in the summer. You know, that affects people. Um, you know, and, but then at the same time, you've got to be professional and as it took us a bit longer than we hoped, yeah, of course it has, because we wanted him to be like this from the start of the, start of the season, but it hasn't. And, but, like I said, we grant players time and support and care and love and all the rest of it because we know we've got a good player and we know that he will pay us back in spades and, he, and I'm sure he will do. And Has he cracked it? Like I said, no, he hasn't. He's got to make sure he got, ends up where all his mates are. And if it, he'll, he'll do that by continuing to score goals and that's what we hope he'll do. Well, you're turning your attention for the last few training sessions towards Fleetwood. What are, what are your views on them? They're in that group, aren't they, around you? You know, if you can get that first away win on the board in the league, you know, it takes you up a couple of places as well and overtakes you, overtakes Fleetwood. Yeah, look, they're, they're all tough games, especially away from home. Um, I'm trying to think of the last time we lost away from home. We've certainly drawn at Rotherham. We've certainly drawn at Plymouth, top of the league. You know, somebody who's just been promoted out of this league tw last twice they've been in it. So we're not fearful of going away from home and performing. Um, we've got to start winning games and not settling for draws. We've also got to make sure we don't lose games as well. Um, so yeah, Fleetwood are, are always going to be a tough nut to crack. We went there last year and beat them. So we've got to make sure that whatever we choose, formation-wise, whichever personnel we choose, that we go there and give a good account of ourselves. Because the performances, like I say, are becoming more, more consistent in-game. And we've got to make sure that we we string a, a performance together that, that gets us the win. I bet you're itching now for three o'clock to come around. You've been on your course, you've had an international break, your team's on a on a on a decent run of results. You can't wait, I guess, now. You know, it, it, the feeling's good again to, to get kicked off. Yeah, of course. You know, you don't get ahead of yourself, but you just want to play games. You want to play games. I think it's been important. I can't deny that the international windows this season have been important to us and not playing games. Um, 
you know, so, in, so that we can get more coaching into them because it is tough when it's Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. It's very difficult. It's, it's mainly game prep. Um, but it's important that the players take on board and, and they have done. They've been a, a terrific. They've been terrific, terrific to work with at the minute, up to up to now. And they've, they've taken on board what we want. And, and like I said, performances are improving and getting better. And whilst ever that's the case, then, you know, you can't complain as a manager. And, and I think everyone's looking forward to Saturday.